Hey, good day everyone. This is Sports Fan News. I'm Joe Borg. If you enjoy the content, please subscribe at the end of the easy to use widget up above or right now down below at the subscribe button. This is going to be a recap of unfortunately the Lehigh Valley Phantoms 3 to 1 defeat to the Hartford Wolf Pack. I almost said the Hartford Whalers. That would have been a throwback right there. But they lost 3-1 to one to the Wolfpack on a game that I would have still gave Felix Sandstrom, to be quite honest, the first start. He did everything he could have possibly done um, to win them this game. And then you, of course, have Brozitski, who was just able, as I highlighted in my preview video to yesterday's game, was able to get it done and have a key play. He's obviously a very good passing player, was able to get open in front of the net after the icing there, and Sandstrom wasn't able to get to that one, that he still reacted to greatly and got the blocker up, but it's just nobody really humanly would have saved that. That would have been ridiculous if he saved Brozitski's shot there. But, I mean, this was just, it was... Obviously, a mix of emotions for Phantoms fans. It was the whiteout. You had the full crowd. The first time you had the full crowd and you have fans in attendance in 591 days so that you did not have the full restrictions. So that was obviously huge to see. And then Sandstrom was 38 of 40. Is Obviously, the one goal was the empty netter by Anthony Bieto. So he, to me is still the first star of this game. You, of course, also had in the first period, Morgan Frost made a good play in the neutral zone that was able to then get it up to Max Wilman, and they were able to score shorthanded. Our Phantoms were very good shorthanded last season, and that's continuing, obviously, to start this season in terms of the scoring output, not the t not in terms of killing the power play and all that of the other team, but in terms of the scoring output, our Phantoms were good shorthanded last year, and that's continuing this year as Max Wilman was able to pot one in this game. The great Max Wilman, who's obviously a killer for our Phantoms, and was able to debut again. Congratulations to him for the Flyers, and I thought played well and actually outplayed Knack in the games that he played. But this game was just a game that it was great to see the fans back in full bore. You were able to have everybody come in and have that full bore crowd. Felix Sandstrom did, as Bob Rotruck highlighted so well in his recap of the game, literally everything he could have done in this game. He played like the top kahuna, like the top netminder. Obviously, we have the Swedish duo there with uh, Urson and Sandstrom, and that's a great duo to have. But Sandstrom definitely showed that he has that experience. He's been over here for a bit, and it showed in this game because he really stepped up and played against a hell of a team and was really the only reason the Phantoms were in this game until the very end where this was not a game that the Phantoms would have a lot to be desired on the defensive end because you never want to get pretty much doubled up in shots, 41-22. to 22. Um, They couldn't stay off of the um, penalty kill, 0 for 5, on, or fortunately for Harford when it came to that, and then 0 for 3 for the Phantoms. But similarly to the Flyers in last night's game, they kept giving them power plays and then consequently the thing that happens with that is you do not have as much of an opportunity to get high octane scoring chances yourself because the other team's on the power play and you're playing more defensive the entire game so obviously those power plays are a big reason why the phantoms got absolutely troused in the shot column uh the tie ronning goal was literally you can do nothing about that great save made by sandstrom hustling defender coming back goes off of him that's literally just one of those hockey plays that just happens unfortunately and the goaltender and the defender uh realistically can't do pretty much anything about that um and then obviously the bieto goal was the empty net but when it comes to just wrapping up this game i would say we want to see obviously a bounce back game from our Lehigh Valley Phantoms against the Wilkes-Barre Scranton Penguins today at 3.05. You want to see them push the pace more. You want to see them not get on the PK as much so they can create more high-octane scoring chances that they were not able to do in this game and obviously have their lone goal on the PK. That Frost, which was nice to see after having struggle bunny games to start, have a solid game to start the game. And then was able to get that up from the neutral zone to Wilman, who of course has been a star since last season in the AHL, really emerging down there and played well in his games up with the Flyers. So nice to see him be able to go down there and pot the goal immediately. But wasn't a good game defensively for the Phantoms. Wasn't a good game in terms of discipline, obviously putting them on five power plays. 
obviously they were able to step up and kill those and get a goal on one, but you don't want to do that because that doesn't give you a chance to get the high octane scoring chances. So we look for a bounce back game. I would have to imagine it's going to be with Samuel Urson after Felix Sandstrom had a hell of a game and still, in my opinion, will be the first star even in a loss because there's no chance he was saving Brzezinski's shot. Tyroning shot was just not his fault. That was just a play that was nobody's fault. It's just a hockey play. And then the other was an empty net goal. So I would give him the first star. And then I would have to give Brzezinski the second and pretty much the third since he got the winning goal. So this has been a reaction to the Phantoms versus Hawford Wolfpack game that they unfortunately lost 3-1. to one. I will be doing a preview for today's game coming up shortly. Peace out, everybody. Stay safe. And let's go, Phantoms. Let's get a bounce back win today against the Penguins. Peace.